down with the underground. I'm down with the underground. I'm down with the underground. Buddy's Pro Shop. Videos by bowlers for bowlers. So I'm here over with John Dansbury. How you doing, John Dansbury? Oh, we're doing all right. New Year's Eve. As you can see, we're we're in a bar. We're at Hudson Lanes, and if we're at Hudson Lanes and we're at a bar, and I hear a ruckus behind me, that means that there's only one possible person that we have as our guest star for this episode. It's Dougie. Not much. How you doing, sir? Dougie happens to be Doug Haran, who is the current, and shall I say, new Northeast champion. First of all, congratulations, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Feels uh, feels good. It's, it's different. It's different. It, I think it's uh, I think everyone likes it so far. I like it. it. Looks looks pretty good on you. Looks pretty good on you. Look pretty good on Robert Smith, also. But you beat him in 4-0 sweep. That was not expected by anybody. Was it expected by you? No. I thought that guy was better than what he was. I was wrong, and so was everyone else. So now you got your share of haters on the internet. You've got a couple of people that have already started to call you out, including one Ray Smarsh, who has, uh, shall we say, uh, been fairly vocal about that. Uh, what's your thoughts? I pay zero attention to Ray Smarsh. He's been talking that kind of stuff all, all along, you know, but he's like everybody else. I've uh, proven them wrong, proved uh, Rob Smith wrong. I, uh, I'm the champ, you know, so whatever they got to say, they can say, I, I want them to talk. I want them to talk because if they are talking, I am doing something right. Now, my next question is, in January, you're going to have an interesting opportunity, but that belt will not be up for, up for grabs. On the line will be Ed Schuler's heavyweight title. What's your thoughts? Um, my thoughts are I'm coming into this match, going into that match with nothing to lose. I am living it up right now. I am uh, I'm focused. I'm going to win. You know, I like this belt a lot, but um, I prefer to have the other one. You know, I think that'll make everyone, everyone open their eyes. That that that'll be. If you thought that this was bad now, <laughs> just just wait, just wait, just wait. That's all I gotta say. Just wait. You know, because Ed Chula, everybody plays up the whole weight loss stuff. I don't know. I'm supposed to do it too, but in the end, it's bowling, and whatever happens that day happens that day. Sorry. Not sorry. You will have to defend once before Mega Bowl, I believe, between Tom Twist and Alex Krell, assuming that you do lose to Ed Schuler. If you don't lose to Ed Schuler, then you will be the champion going to Mega Bowl. If you do lose to him. Hi, Kevin Decker. Hi, Kevin Decker. We'll be talking. The we'll be talking about that momentarily. However, I want your thoughts on the Alex Krell Tom Twist matchup. Who do you uh, want to see, or who you think's got the edge on that one? That match is going to be pretty good. I know both those guys pretty well. I mean, they they were, you know, they're both Lodi superstars. You know, one guy works there, one guy makes his reputation there. You know, they bowled at Lodi and Tom Twist won. However, I think when it comes down to uh, bowling at 30 strikes, I think that Alex Farrell will do it. I think that he uh, he did, he showed a lot when he bowled against Ludi Martino last month. So I think he's going to win. I think he's going to be a, a good challenger. And if it happens to be me that he bowls against, it's just another lefty I have to beat. That, that's all it is. So. You know, Alex, good luck. He needs to win also. If he doesn't win, he's out. If he doesn't win, he's out. Right. So I, I think that that's going to motivate him a lot. I think that Tom Twist, uh, he's, he's had his run, but yeah, he's getting old too. All these old guys need to go out. <laughs> All these old guys, get him out of here. Ooh. 